Right. So UFOs are not new. There are things in the sky that can't be identified. It doesn't mean that they're from outer space. It could mean that they're from a private source somewhere in this country. It could be another country. It could be, I don't know. Okay. Back in June, UFO whistleblower David Grush, they tried to destroy his credibility. They could not. And he made headlines when he exclusively told News Nation the government secretly collects crashed spacecraft. Remember this interview? A crash retrieval, what do you mean? Uh, these are retrieving non-human origin uh, technical vehicles, you know, call it spacecraft if you will, non-human, exotic origin vehicles that have either landed or crashed. We have spacecraft from another species. We do. Now look, I'm not saying that you have to believe him, but he sure as heck knows a lot more about it than you or I do, okay? This is what he works in. But more importantly, we shouldn't be asking the questions. There are people who know the answers. And that's all I've been pushing for here, is that they should be held to account to the people who put them in power. Today, a new report claims that indeed, as Brother Grush mentioned, CIA, secret program, collecting downed UFOs. Multiple sources say that that agency, maybe involving others, uses U.S. special forces, okay, our best operators. Last time I checked, we don't use them for BS situations, okay, sends U.S. special forces to pick up UAPs and then hand them over to private military contractors to figure out whose they are, what they are, etc. The report claims they've collected at least nine of these, two intact. So why don't we know this? What does this mean? And how do we get more answers? Joining tonight, the man on the front line in Congress pushing for full UFO disclosure, getting people chop blocking him at every turn, including elected representatives from within his own party, GOP member of Congress, Tim Burchett and the independent journalist who broke the UFO cover-up story wide open when he interviewed whistleblower Dave Grush for News Nation, Ross Coulthard. It's good to have you both. Thank you very much. Uh, first of all, Ross, does this square with your reckoning at this time, these most recent reports, that yes, government agencies, at least including the CIA, have specific programs and manpower to deal with things that are in the air that they can't identify, want collected, and studied? Absolutely, Chris. Firstly, good evening and good day, Tim. I, what I can tell you is the Office of Global Access is the office in the CIA that has been coordinating this. They have been doing crash retrievals for many years. Um, one of the things that I do take issue with in the Daily Mail story today is that they say there's just nine craft that been, have been recovered. My understanding is that there are considerably more. And uh, as the article accurately reports, this is done in collaboration with JSOC, the Joint Special Operations Command, notably with special forces drawn primarily from the US Air Force. So yes, the article is accurate, and I've got it also confirmed independently by multiple senior intelligence sources. Congressman Burchett, what'd they do? They cut off the heat down there because you're pushing for too many answers? Uh, you Yankees keep it cold up there in Washington, brother. And both, I just want to say for the record, both y'all speak with funny accents, but, I, but, I, <laughs> but I've got a teleprompter underneath me that translates what y'all are saying. So we're good. But hey, but Ross's Ross's accent makes him sound more sophisticated. I mean, yeah. my voice sounds like I'm here to kill you. Um, yeah. But listen, Congressman, uh, let me ask you, what do you make first of the resistance um, to transparency with your own party, the other party? W what do you make of it? That's the uniparty, Chris. You know that you close the door. Your dad, and my dad were old school politicians. And at the end of the day, they they go out and, and and have dinner together and share you know some common views. Today it's you to close the door. The only thing this these people see is green, and that's what this is all about. It's about money. It's about power. It's about control, and and the, and the public's had enough of it. Thanks to good reporting by y'all, and and we I think we're going to get to the bottom of something here. This this CIA issue is is huge, and the fact that I too have have had some conversations and verified some of this stuff is, is that it's true. So, um, you know, of course, I haven't seen it. I don't have to see it. But I, 
I think the American public deserves to see what the hell's going on with this stuff, because until we get to the bottom of this, you know, th this thing is so big that that and it, and it travels over into every agency that we have in Washington, because you've noticed when you all started reporting this and polling data was showing that 55 or more percent of the American public believe that there was something else out there. Now you're seeing departments like NASA. Everybody at the Pentagon is is wanting to get on the gravy train. They're saying, hey, we need to study this. We need a robust uh, budget to study this stuff. Hell, they don't need to study it. They've got it. They just need to turn it over to us, and that's the problem. Hey, thank you for watching. Please go to NewsNationNow.com, NewsNationNow.com, and you can find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button down below. Then you will get more of NewsNation's fact-driven coverage.